impressive. And this week we've shown you how some eastern Iowans are beating that heat, but there's one place where that's very hard to do, prison. Most of Iowa's nine state prisons have air conditioning, but two of them here in eastern Iowa do not. Much of the Anamosa State Penitentiary has no air conditioning. Right now it has 974 inmates. And all of the 850 inmates at the Mount Pleasant Correctional Facility live without air conditioning as well. TV9's Mark Carlson reports the heat can take a real toll on those inmates. As the sun sends searing heat through jagged razor wire, new inmates continue to arrive at the Mount Pleasant Correctional Facility. What a first day in prison. I would say if it's 90 outside, you know you may be in the low 90s, mid 90s inside. Prison officials won't allow us to show inmates without their consent, but the warden did let us inside the prison Thursday afternoon where sun-splashed hallways only get hotter as days go by. Today it's really warm in there. Tomorrow it'll be warmer. This week, prisoners receive ice twice a day. Inmates spend their days attending treatment programs, going to classes, or shooting hoops in the yard. Usually they're not allowed back into their beds until they've completed their daily activities. But when it's this hot, the prison lets them into their cell to rest anytime. Sometimes they have difficulty going to sleep at night because of the heat. Maybe they'll be 2.30 in the morning before they actually go to sleep. And so it just helps to maintain their levels of, of uh, rest. One place where you won't see a lot of activity when it gets really hot like this is a place that's usually bustling with activity, the inmate garden where inmates grow thousands of pounds of their own food. No doubt the heat might make this the most miserable place to live in eastern Iowa. But oddly enough, they understand that it's just what it is. You know, and I've had them say it is what it is. And it's just what it is today. In Mount Pleasant, Mark Carlson, KCRG TV 9 News. Now, a federal court ruled last year that exposing prisoners to extreme heat without relief can constitute cruel and unusual punishment if it threatens the prisoner's health. State prison officials say they do monitor those conditions closely. Meteorologist Joe Winter.